Get it in the trunk. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we all know that you would actually fit in there. I would not. It kind of would. My, maybe my ass would. Hmm. Should we, like, drop this for more space? Oh yeah. Maybe, because we have two suitcases with us. Mm -hmm. Two suitcases. No, we are not going on a holiday, although like a two-day holiday. We are going to Holland because tomorrow there's going to be a show-off car festival. Organized. Holland day. Holland day. <laughs> holiday, Shadana says. Nice one. Yeah, a festival uh, organized by a show of imports in Dongen in Holland. Good friends of mine. Since ever I started doing car stuff, I've been, uh, well, I know them, bought some things from them and such. My first spoiler, carbon fiber spoiler, came from them. That's a cool, uh, interesting fact for my race car. Yeah, and I'm like, everybody gonna like uh, give me I shit for marks with the suitcase, like uh, drift marks. That's not a word. No, <laughs> no. Yeah, well, um, tire marks, but they don't have tires. It's a wheel, so wheel <laughs> marks. What I, what, what I was saying that everyone gonna give me shit because I'm just vlogging and watching her do all the work But they are not heavy because they're actually empty I'll There's... tell you whether they're heavy or not <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just, let's put it on the back seat We're going just to drop some stuff uh, off at my mom and that bicyclist over there I'm gonna get back to that point in a bit Today's Saturday, so I think I skipped yesterday's vlog I think I did because I was still running like five days behind and I want to bring it back to uh, three days On Monday, picking up the JRD suspension for the Sub 7-Up, finally You need any help? Your laptop. Oh, my laptop, my laptop uh, That's uncomfortable vlogging and doing stuff <laughs> On Monday, taking the JRD suspension, woohoo, doing a lot of other stuff as well uh, so that's why we decided to leave already today because as a matter of fact as you can see there are a lot of bicyclists because it's a yearly rat amring or the well the bicycle on the nerve cream or actually the wheel on the on the ring if you want to translate that very literally so um the ring is closed today the whole day and tomorrow almost the whole day the tf will be only open for two hours uh, all the guests for the hotel already have checked in and uh, the rental cars that can be taken care of by tim who is well, his car is over there. I don't know where he is. His both cars are here, so he must be probably. He walked probably to check out the track, which we might do as well. Probably make a stop at T13, which is just there. Show you all the bicyclists bicycling past, not driving past. And yeah, who knows? Because today's vlog, nothing spectacular gonna happen. So it's a bit of a uh, personal kind of thing. So um, you might want to stop watching now unless you want to hang about and. Get to learn me and Diana better. We should do like a Q&A soon with her together. Hmm, maybe even a live video. So, but for now, let's jump in. Thank you, Diana, for uh, putting all the shit in the car. That's okay. Thank you very much. And yes. cleaning your car. Oh yes, and clean. Did I? T I think I did it because she did it yesterday. She cleaned the complete up and she did the wheels completely. So they are like new. I need to be honest. Yeah? Helen did the wheels. Okay, good. Well, amazing job by Helen and amazing job by you. Mwah. Good, so let's jump in, check out some. <laughs> I love how you buckled up the, the suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cute. Well, it's because you drive like a nut job. <laughs> uh, no, I don't. <laughs> Since this vlog is about bullshit, one of the bullshit points, um, I always take my cap off when I get in the car because the fun part is in Holland, where we're going to, there's like a, um, uh, there's a word uh, in Dutch, it's begrip. How do you call it in English? Um, Just term. A term called <laughs> petje, which is like literally translation, uh, a cap. And a lot of risers, and other people, they always like stereotyped by being a petche, by being a cap, because they always wear a cap and you know, like Fast and the Furious. And I tried it out. The, um, the chance of getting pulled over while wearing a cap because you're some stupid driver or whatever, they always give you some shit for anything, for modded car, for maybe you had alcohol because today is Saturday night and a lot of people go out on Saturday in Holland. The chance of getting pulled over because you're wearing a cap because you're a petche is a lot higher. Me, my friends, everyone, it's like scientifically proven. Like, <laughs> like the, every single time I had a petche, they'll be like, oh, 
you're just a like stupid petty kid and uh, you get pulled over so that's one of my reflexes like take it off and uh before you start driving yeah this vlog is going nowhere it has nothing to do with like green alloy wheels or like uh exhaust oh yeah well since we're gonna <laughs> talk about that of course as a drug dealer i would choose like a, the most car mm -hmm. that stands completely out get like wheels and loud exhaust and then try to smuggle drugs and uh, like well i'm referring to the previous time we got full body check and border check because they're and the lego check the the lego that we got at the car wash for maximus that, that they were like yeah, yeah you might have uh, yeah you might have uh, hide there something and uh, yeah sure actually maybe the this is could be true i mean as if you really want to hide something you might actually want to go for a fully marked car like i have which is like represents a company car and in hope that police would assume no he would not take something like that but then on the other hand if you would assume like let's take like a really shitbox car last time and not that i had such an experience was in france when i was driving the well, my formal shitbox and I got folded the pulled over because they were thinking in the end that I was carrying something. So what kind of car should you be driving? Maybe as... it's you and your face. That's it. Because especially when I'm bearded, I look totally like a terrorist. <laughs> You're a cute terrorist though. <laughs> Is that, uh, could, could that be classified as shit Diana says? A cute terrorist. <laughs> I don't know. It's up to you, audience, to decide. <laughs> Let's go watch some bicycles. Yes. So we have arrived at T13 and usually already when you start approaching any section next to the track you see here the engine rumble, the tires screeching if they're not running full stakes or if it's TF and they just like, well, understeer, oversteer, whatever. But now it's fairly silent. People just like bicycle, they bike and then even like people walking on the track. Oh, I really should stand behind the FIA fence if uh, he doesn't make it into the corner. I need to stay safe. Damn! Oh wow, there's a car. Oh, he's taking a curb zone. Dude, oh, he's taking a wet line. In case you're wondering, they go on for 24 hours. I shit you not. In teams of max four. Yeah. So they like change drivers. Yeah, but... Obviously, like every 24 hour race, you change drivers. So you have like another team. Oh. It's like max four. I could maybe do this if it's like max 300. That I like drive one sixth of a lap. <laughs> and then somebody picks me up with a helicopter because I'm dead. <laughs> Uh, fun detail at Hoa Acht, there is a tent that sells uh, waffles. So, uh, you want to get some waffles? <laughs> <laughs> you need to get on a bike. Yeah, and go. quickly. <laughs> Let's just knock one of these suckers off. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I borrowed it. You've been playing too much GTA. <laughs> Say amazing road, but the music is also quite okay. Hello, Helmond. And to prevent that, I will forget the food shot. Let's get some food first. It's pretty busy because the weather is nice. It's now like 24 degrees. So, uh, no. yo, no need to pay because it's only like till. Uh, Still 19, so. Mm. Are you one of the people who hates pineapple on pizzas? No. Okay. No. Some people think it's real blasphemy, but I disagree. How are you, Sparrows? Numb. And now it's time to go to the movies. 
but actually movies is a cafe so we're going to do this confusing it all. that's like confusing it all it's something to eat yes <laughs> <laughs> well like a typical nolan film i couldn't could you what? the movie oh yeah yeah no comment yeah <laughs> we watched dunkirk and like war movie and nolan movies don't go together probably it was good but you really have to it like it. It was good, but it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and in the meanwhile, we're also joined by Automo Tim and Ruland. You've seen him earlier. And the reason why I'm filming actually is because he has a Seat. You've seen it already a couple of vlogs ago. And the reason why I'm filming it now is that we can hear the naturally aspirated rumble. Can you hear it? No? You sure? Maybe we can come closer. Maybe we need some rest. Yeah. Well, now let's check out the difference with the sub seven up and the and the Gerolje exhaust. Yeah, sure. The cold start. Ooh. <laughs> Approve. <laughs> Rev it a bit. And of course, this Polo Harlequin deserves some attention as well. And I saw there also, I think a Carlson Mercedes. Since we're doing late night car spotting, it's now three o'clock at midnight, after midnight. And yeah, look at that. Look at them rims. Look at that car. Oh yeah. Is that, yeah, that's a Carlson. Yep. Nice. So this is actually my old race car. 